Hello everyone, hope you're having a good day today, and so the Thousand Year Blood War Gravitation Zenith Summoning will be releasing in less than 24 hours, so we're going to go ahead and talk about the characters a little bit more in detail, talk about the banner units, and also see if this banner is worth summoning on. Short answer, no it's not. Long answer, stick around. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, you've been here for a while, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 350 subscribers. Now with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so as you can see here, uh, this May end of month banner is obviously a Thousand Year Blood War banner, and we're getting a new Masaki and Ishin. Now, both of these units, I say, are definitely strong. They have the, they're basically kind of built like the Thousand Year Blood War King do, where their soul trait is the 40% spiritual pressure boost, and they have the spiritual pressure boost plus 80%. So overall, these, both of these characters have a 120% spiritual pressure boost and you know they both have the increased status of chance against you know against well the masaki she has it against the rankers and the ishin let's come here oh he doesn't have the increased status of a chance i thought he did okay he does yeah against hard attribute enemies Oh, now that I'm actually looking at it his is against hard attribute enemies which is basically normal but masaki's is against all a rankers so any type of a rankers that she's going up against she will have this increased status chance which is not too bad actually having this against all att attributed a ranker enemies instead of you know like the Ishans where his is just against only against heart attribute enemies i think the masaki's is a lot better than the Ishans. i didn't really pay attention to that when i was first looking at these units but anyway, uh, the Masaki, yeah, they'll both have a 100%, 120% spiritual pressure boost. The uh, Masaki will have Frenzy plus 2. And both her Berserker and Devastation are at 60%, which is relatively high for SP units. She has the power attribute, Quincy damage to status, damage affected enemies plus 40%. She also does have damage to paralyzed enemies plus 40%. She does have poison, which is very good. And, you know, the strong attack reach are time minus 12%. So overall, uh, yeah, this is going to be a very, very strong unit, as well as the Ishin here. Uh, his devastation is at 60%, and he does have weakened defense, so his soul bomb will be hitting, I'd say, significantly harder than the Masaki, since he does have the weakened defense. And you can stack the weakened defense with the bonus abilities into the one built in with his kit, so your soul bomb will be able to do much more damage and he does have the rampage skill which is great it will increase his overall damage frenzy plus two his berserker is only at 50 percent, which is still high and marauder he's a melee unit so he has marauder in the masaki she is a ranged unit as well because she does have the sharpshooter skill so overall these characters are very very strong uh, i think the ishan will be hitting harder in terms of soul bomb damage and maybe overall, you just want to add on this get a Rampage skill here. And so, obviously, uh, the banner itself, it is a 26-step-up banner. You do get to choose a new character at step 25, and you are guaranteed one featured 5-star unit at steps 5, 10, 15, and 20. They do have single summons. Oh, crap. Wait. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, here are their single summons. Uh, the Ishans, this first, his will be available the 15th, and the Masakis will be available the 25th. First. Oh yeah, if you just want either one of these units, you can really just wait until their individual uh, step-up banners come out. And as for the featured unit themselves, I mean, we have some pretty old Thousand Year Blood War units. Every unit in this banner has a resurrection, obviously, except for the two new ones in the Thousand Year Blood War Yamamoto. <laughs> Alright, so here we have the Thousand Year Blood War Yamamoto from the 7th anniversary who, in my opinion, is still a top-tier power unit. Uh, his Soul Bomb still hits extremely, extremely hard. The Bombardment and the weakened Defense built into his kit and damage to his burning enemies 40%. The Status Ailment Spiritual Pressure Boost that we have here, but this is steadily getting power creep because we just got two new units whose Spiritual Pressure Boost can go up to 120%. Uh, and with the Thousand Year Blood War Kang do, we now have a total of three units. So yeah, this skill is slowly becoming outdated, which is kind of unfortunate. He has the share complete status immunity 100%, which is great. 
you know, it kind of supports the team, but it will make them immune to the status elements and whatever content you are using this unit in. Uh, he has two killers, forgot to mention that, Quincy and Hollow. Uh, he does have a chance to dodge Hollow enemies 50%, so he's more useful. Well, I say he's, I won't say more useful, but he's better going up against Hollow affiliation enemies because you can take advantage of this skill. But, you know, having two killers is great. Um, his Frenzy is only at plus one, unfortunately. Uh, his Berserker is only 40% as well. He does have Marauder. And, you know, like I mentioned earlier, if you want to stack another weakened defense on this unit, you can to make his Soul Bomb hit even harder. But yeah, uh, this unit is coming up on two years old now, but he's still very, very good. The next featured banner unit is this Bad B. He does have the, um, he is resurrected, so we'll be taking a look at his resurrection version. Um, speed, a ranker killer unit, not a bad killer. Uh, strong attack recharge time minus 12% and damage to burning enemies plus 20%. Not bad soul trait for this character. As you can see here, he obviously does have burning on all of his attacks, and he has a charge SA-3. He has a guard break and as his innate skills and also the damage to burning enemies. His Berserker is only at 30%, which is low. Devastation is low at 40, having 20%, Frenzy plus 1. Increased status chance against power attribute enemies, and another damage to burning enemies plus 20%. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the one that's in his skills and the one that's in his innate skills are um, calculated differently. So he's going to be doing a lot of damage to um, burning enemies. The increased status element chance and the status element spiritual pressure boost plus 50%. So overall, this is not a bad uh, resurrected unit. You know, you can get some use out of him on like Psychomon or if you want to take him in IT for, you know, just for laughs. But yeah, overall, a pretty decent resurrection. All right, so uh, up next is the Jugram. This is another unit that has a resurrection, and he's mainly a brave battle unit. He's a power uh, squad zero killer unit. Uh, soul trait damage to take him minus 16%. Normal attack damage plus 16%. Weakening on his attacks, uh, he's immune to paralysis, which is great. He will be immune to the Yamamoto status ailments. Or, excuse me, not Yamamoto, the Yuha Baha. I don't know why I just thought of him. Uh, Spencer plus one, I mean, it's okay. Uh, his... Bruiser is at 36%, his Berserker is at 50. Uh, brave battle skills that you see here prevent last dead survival, ignore invincibility, brave battle counter, and he has brave battle invincibility himself. Furry, voice, and the pierce barrier. So, uh, yeah, this is just a, another brave battle unit that you can use. And he's pretty old, so you probably might have more copies of him. Might be closer to Max for Senate. Uh, I only have the one copy of him. But overall, I'd say he's still a solid Brave Battle unit. Alright, so the Thousand Year Blood War Uryu is another resurrected unit. He is a Technique unit with the Soul Reaper Killer, but his Soul Trait is the Strong Attack Recharge Time minus 12%, and Strong Attack Damage Inflicted at full sound plus 20%, so not a bad linking character that you can use. Actually, his stats are pretty high as well. His base SP is 903, that's really high. He's a range unit with no uh, status elements on his ability, but he does heal with his soul bomb. He recovers stamina in between stages and he deals 20% uh, less damage from soul reapers. Berserker at 40%, devastation at 60, full stamina damage boosts 20%, and full stamina damage 20% only at full stam for his strong attacks. This is calculated differently than the full stam damage boosts. Havoc 20% frenzy element reversal. Furniture plus one and guard break. So I say this is a pretty solid uh, resurrection, but there's a lot stronger techniques. So we could kill units like the Art Swords Ichigo and the Safley Toshiro are ones that come off the top of my head. But you know, these probably more of a character you would want to use for his soul trait links. All right, so the Thousand and Blood War Orihime is a power unit with the Hollow Killer. Her soul trait is the same as the previous one, the Uryu. Strong attack recharge time minus 12%, strong attack damage inflicted at full stem 20%. Another good linking character. She is a ranged unit with no status elements. She has a heal and a barrier on her SA2. She has Havoc 20%. Her, her Berserker and Devastation are uh, pretty low. Berserker at 20, Devastation at 40. Uh, Frenzy plus 1, weakened defense. Uh, Smircher plus 1, multi barrier, which is good. Healer and medic. So this is just basically a unit that you can use to like, I guess, you know, just heal really since she has, you know, like kind of the two main healing skills and the multi-barrier skills. So she's more of a, 
I say a support unit for sure. And you know, her soul traits aren't bad as well. You can use her to link up to like the Thousand Year Blood War Yamamoto. Alright, so Oetsu is a Technique Soul Reaper Killer unit. His soul traits are Strong Attack, Recharge Time minus 12%, and Damage Taken minus 12%. Uh, melee unit, no status elements. He does have a chance to one shot on his soul bomb, and he has the boost on his SA2. He is immune to the weakened status element. His Berserker is at 8%, which is high, Strong Attack Damage or he is immune to the weakened status element. His bruiser is 80%, which is high, and his berserker is at 50%. Devastation is at 40%. Uh, he's also immune to paralysis. Furry plus one, enhancer, sprinter plus one, poise, and guard break. Uh, yeah, that's just pretty much it. He's a really, really old Thousand Year Blood War unit, and his resurrection is it's okay, I guess. Last but not least, we have the Renji, who is a power ranker killer unit. Soul trait is the strongest attack, recharge time minus 12%, and damage inflicted at full stand plus 16%. This is a character that I use quite often as my, you know, character link. Melee unit, uh, no status helmets. Charge on his SA3, chance to insta kill with his soul bomb. Berserker is low at 20%, devastation is at 50%. Uh, follow up long reach have a 20% frenzy plus one and sprinter plus two so uh yeah this is just basically a unit that you can use for a character link i use him pretty much all the time whenever i'm showcasing a character okay so uh we talked about the new characters a bit more in detail and we talked about the banner unit so should you summon like i mentioned earlier no you shouldn't summon we are less than two months away from the ninth anniversary so you should really be saving up for that not to mention, this is only a two-character banner. We really don't get these all too often. And it is another Thousand Year Blood War banner, which is great. Thousand Year Blood War is hype. But they've been releasing these banners a lot more frequently. So the I say the rarity of Thousand Year Blood War characters is pretty much decreasing every time they, you know, just drop Thousand Year Blood War banners. But uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoy. And thank you for watching. As usual, until next time.